Yes, Trendset Media YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Master Hubbard in the house. Here on our desk, we have some interesting news for you, and it's about Uganda's opposition MOPs who demand for the dismissal of Kampala ministers. A section of opposition legislators in the Uganda parliament has expressed their dissatisfaction with the sacking of only three top officials at Kampala Capital City Authority. Wondering why the two ministers of Kampala and this is Minsa Kavanda and Kawiye Chofa Togabye we are not also dismissed. This member of parliament, headed by Joseph Seungu, of the Karungu West, and Timose Batua of Ginger South, asserted that President Yoel Museveni's should have dismissed the two ministers of Kampala first, who have been sitting in cabinet every day before dismissing Dorose Kisaka, the former executive director of Kampala Capital City Authority and her team. According to Honorable Seungu Gonzaga, Museven reduced the funds dedicated to Kampala after losing votes in the city during the 2021 presidential elections. He further stated that during Jennifer Moses' reign as executive director for Kampala Capital City Authority, the president under his directive granted Kampala Capital City Authority a lot of money, hoping that he was going to win elections. But he found a different story after the elections. And when he lost the elections in Kampala, what he did is to reduce the money by half, meaning that Museven only thinks about people by winning votes but not service delivery. That is very bad if it is our president's intention, but I don't think so. Maybe there was other obstacles that hindered him to increase on the money. Maybe he saw that it was not necessary to invest in Kampala, maybe to invest in other areas. I don't know because I'm not a politician, but that, that's just my own thinking. But Seung added that the taxes collected in Kampala almost triple all other areas of Uganda. But Kampala Capital City Authority is not given sufficient funds to operate successfully and the mistake is with the ministers. According to Seongu, dismissing the Kampala Capital City Authority officials contributes nothing and it's worthless given the fact that the true cause of Chite's garbage slide has not been strategically reacted to either. The manner which they were dismissed was not light because Chisaka failed to do her work successfully due to the fact that she was not given enough money by the government. And that's the same problem even the others will face. Those ones who are coming will face and fail to work as Jisaka and his team, his team and her team did. On the other hand, Timose Batua also blamed the cabinet ministers, stating that the constitution stipulates vividly that the cabinet will formulate policies, 
But during Chite's runs, right, there was no policy on the waste management in Kampala Capital City Authority. And the ministers also did nothing. Chite's garbage collapse occurred on August 10, 2024, killing 35 Ugandans and other 11 people still remain unaccounted for. Therefore, the opposition reactions is a result of Dorothy Kisaka's dismissal and her team over the mismanagement of Chitez Landfill and were dismissed by President Yoel Kaguta Museveni Tib Habrua. Now we are awaiting to see whether they will be appointing new executive director and the deputy also with another concerning about public health